I've been seeing a lot of other YouTubers who do battery videos reviewing these Vatra Power 100 amp hour 51 volt batteries and they seem to really like them because this, this is the kind of battery where the, the high quality cells are found and it's a five kilowatt hour battery pack. That's a lot of power. So I am in no position to be using it just yet and I figured because, you know, Vatra Power, they've been giving out some real big batteries. And I, I figured whenever they contacted me, I would be like, oh, thanks. You can send me a 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery instead. That's more of my pace right now. But it was 3 a.m. whenever they emailed me and I happened to wake up and I was like, 48 volts? Sure. Send it on over. Well, here it is. Acting bold and going into the future. Speaking of the future, they ha apparently they're going to be doing a lot of big discounts on uh, upcoming Prime Day. So you might be able to get some, I think they said up to a couple, like $600 off on some model or something like that. So that's, that's you know, they are, uh, companies are just expanding bat battery factories a whole bunch. But nobody is expanding inverter factories, it seems, because I can't get a company to send me a free inverter. But at the workshop, we have solar panels that can do 48 volts. We have an MPPZ charge controller that can do 48 volts. And now we have a battery that can do 48 volts. So I just need to save up a little bit, do a little bit more mortar repointing, and I can get a 48 volt uh, pure sine wave inverter for this. And it's just one of those things where I would feel bad for letting this sit in the foyer a little too long. Getting it out of the box is a bit of a, a bit of a trick in, a, in and of itself. This is one of those things where I did kind of ask for something that I couldn't use. Well, they offered it, actually. I accepted something that I couldn't use just yet, but I'm so excited about it because, well, it has a Bluetooth BMS inside of it, and it has those really nice square, like, metal-encased cells. So it's not like a whole bunch of little... Um, 3120, whatever the, the sizes are. And it's rack mountable, although I'm probably just going to be making a custom shelf to put it on. And this is the kind of battery that could run like a table saw, all sorts of lab equipment, anything like that. It comes with these beautiful jumper cables that are six gauge. These are absolutely huge. I've already used these in a few videos. You may have noticed them. And I really like these a lot. Well... This would be kind of like the uh, TIG welder video where I felt bad that I couldn't quite use the TIG welder within the amount of time that they'd want me to do a video on it. But boy, this is one of those things where like the TIG welder, I can't pass it up because I, I will, there will come a time within this year or next year that I will really need this. And I was really surprised to see how well laid out everything is in here. It reminds me very much of automotive batteries. I've actually taken apart quite a few automotive batteries, worked at an automotive startup, electric vehicle startup, and I've seen inside quite a few automotive vehicle batteries. And now a lot of them will have like an epoxy on them or a lot of potting material. But again, I had thought about making my own battery for the city car or using a few smaller batteries for the Lexus uh, EV conversion that we might do. But something like this, I'd still want to give it some nice shock absorption or something, but it, it is mounted together very sturdily. And it's probably enough to be better. So it's kind of why I'm thinking maybe it'll be something for the workshop for now but later on we might put it in a vehicle. It'd be kind of nice if we could actually charge, like if we had this in the back of the Lexus or the city car, and um, we could charge e-bikes directly from it because it'd be 48 volts. That'd be pretty cool. Now I'm recording on my phone because it has a headphone jack, and the phone that I record with does not have a headphone jack. However, I don't have yet a third phone that can put the app on it, but this has a Bluetooth app. And if you don't want that, it has this, whoops, also has a nice little circuit breaker switch. It has that. We're familiar with this on the YouTube channel already, but boy, is this nice to see on this sort of setup. 
So we have standardized screen with MOSFET control. Like for instance, I have the discharge MOSFETs turned off and it's interesting. This is the first battery I've seen with such a high voltage and an LCD display. So normally you would just see like four batteries, but now this has 16. Fills up the page. It's been at 70, 71% for about two months now. You know, as I said, I feel kind of bad that I can't just jump on getting a inverter right quick, but at least it has been sitting in storage really well. However, one key is you can turn it off. And so it's not gonna be taking that one watt of power. So if you were to have, say, a boat that you were to set in storage, you could turn this off and de-energize it and not waste any power. Because even the little amperage controllers that I have, they um, they take like a watt or so, and that can, that can drain it a battery over a few months. All right, let's turn off the recording. And now they have, they recommend the app, I believe it's Shaosheng Electric. Which you get some controls with and you get a, uh, all right, let me see. You actually get a graph with it as well. The other app which I use does not get a, give a graph. So it's good to have this app along with it. So with the other one that I can recommend is Overkill Solar. I've seen a lot of people go with this and what's nice is this BMS has a really good like compatibility with all these sorts of apps. So this battery can work with a lot of different devices. You know, I need to kill that to make it appear. And so with this one, you can get a little bit more access to some of the error messages and maybe move a few things around, but I don't suspect I'll have to. Manufacturer Z ZJDY. So many cells. Let's see. And don't worry, I know that removing, or turning this off doesn't remove power. At least I don't think it does. And uh, so I'm still gonna be very careful. I just really wanna see how this is packed together. I'm so excited to get such good quality cells. Cause a lot of the other batteries that are shipped, you know, they, um, you know, I, I've, re I've re reviewed a few like C grade batteries that had even well, C grade cells in them. And these big batteries, from what I've seen from a lot of people, I really enjoy them. These cells seem more like um, automotive grade. Now you can come in closer. We have all of the balance leads going to each individual cell. Looks like these are those metal cells, those metal metal packs that are about that big. Really nice and compact. I believe they're using that same exact cell size in a lot of low budget electric vehicles, which makes me think that um, any car that is very simple in design and uses these lithium iron, iron phosphate batteries may end up being one of those things that 20 years down the line we look back on kind of like a chevy s10 from the early 90s where it's just kind of a little cheap thing that keeps kind of keeps on going because uh the lithium ion batteries if you always charge them to 100 percent and keep them at 100 percent, they slowly degrade but the lithium iron phosphates they they last i believe their degradation is more limit more predicated on how much how many watt hours, kilowatt hours you take out of it, like how many, how many pass through it.
but overall it still lasts about maybe six times to ten, to ten times longer than a lithium ion lithium ion battery that's charged full so yeah i'm going to take the camera from you and i'm going to take a look at this you know what i'll put the camera in here it's a little bit too close to get it that close but this is a big bms now these two look like they're really close they're the same connection so we don't have to really worry too much about that i believe they're the same connection yeah they're the same connection it's wise to have redundant connections this is the biggest VMS I've ever owned. I wonder what this is rated for. Max continuous discharge current, 100 amps. So 100 amps times 48 is about five kilowatts or thereabouts. I wouldn't want to go above two kilowatts, but yeah, that's pretty good. Then it looks like we have Temperature sensing. Temperature sensing. There should be a third one somewhere. Third thermocouple. I'm not seeing it. Guys, are you seeing it anywhere? The first two out. So we have one coming here, mm -hmm. and then one coming here. The other one might be somewhere else. You'll be able to tell by having, it's a double pair black wire. I'm not seeing a double pair black wire going anywhere. No. So maybe the third one is actually inside of the BMS itself. Yeah, it might be. Oh, so that's the back of the LCD. RS-485. I had to work with that with a uh, motor one time. And then I, I presume this is the Bluetooth module. So even if you turn off the display, the Bluetooth might still work. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, I couldn't pass this up for free. Just to do a few videos of. This will definitely give me something to do. All right, and these are these are nice automotive cells. If this is the lowest quality we have to deal with, well, I think we're off to a good start. But yeah, they made some very good design choices with this. All right, let's put the, the, the cap on. This as well has a nice piece of, two pieces of thick foam underneath it. mind not to put the little wings back on because I don't plan to be making it fit into a, uh, a rack mounted system anyway so since this will be sitting around for a while in storage I'll just leave those off
and with that that'll be something we'll put into storage for a little bit i mean it's not gonna, not gonna storage unit or anything but I'll, I'll take you to the workshop i'll put it on a shelf and we're gonna see about saving up to get an inverter and thank you very much fat for power for sending me this you have your video now one of them because i hope to make two i think i should make a good proper video of this later on when it's possible and now we can play dawn trail without having this on the list to do see you in uh, what's this what, what's that to 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 you lol to you yeah. lol i don't know how to we'll, we'll learn how to pr pronounce these continents together hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching see ya I really like that these fold in. Who the heck is honking outside? Why that you, that you know what that, is. that trucker loves sitting outside every day. Every day. Every, every, every oh man. Day. Oh. He just loves sitting out in the Wawa parking lot. Honk honk, yeah. honk, 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 honk. It's oh. like twice a day. It it is, it is.